so at the minute now we're continuing drilling maize. We've probably been at this for I think the first maize drill one day, two, three weeks ago now. And I'm just getting the grips here with our new Gaspardo Corona maize drill. Um, how it came about, our our old drill, our old eight row drill, it was due it was due to come through the workshop in the winter time and we brought it through the workshop and put new discs and stuff on it and built it up to back to new standard again. But one of the things we always like we always like to do, any time we do a job, we always like to try and do a job as if it was our own. So it doesn't matter who we're working for, we'll do a job as if it's our own. And we're always looking to see if we can find improvements. And our last drill, I, I was always very fussy. I always like to watch the plant grow and, and see how it went on. And the last drill always annoyed me. At, at the time, that's all I had. The last drill would have had a plant, a plant, and then you might have had a gap, and then a plant, a plant, and then a gap, and a plant. And no matter what you've done, like being perfectionist, I wanted a seed, a seed, a seed, a seed, and equal placements. The last drill, no matter what you've done with it, just the technology that it had uh, that came out at the time, that's what as good as it was going to get. And in the winter time, we looked at all the different options in the market. And the one first option was to build our drill up and, and keep using it. But the technology since then, since 2008, since we got it, the technology has moved on fastly. So we spent in the winter time and we looked, we sat and went through brochures and YouTube videos and every manufacturer's website just to see what was out there on the market. All the drills now in the market, they all have far better systems than what our technology was with double disc coulters. And they're now using, the Gaspardo Chrono is using an air delivery system to get the seat down to the ground. So what, would I, what we think was happening with the last drill, as, as the seeds were coming around the disc uh, and the seed was dropping off the disc, the seed was falling with gravity. So it fell with gravity down the, the steel pipe and it was up to gravity to take the, take the seed from the disc to the ground. But now as you're going down the field and you were doing 7k, 8 kilometers an hour, the seed and, and, and your, your coulters and your, your boxes were bouncing about, the seed was coming down the pipe and, and the seed was probably just bouncing off the sides of the pipe, so it wasn't going in a straight line down. So the technology at the time, like you don't know how long it's going to take that seed to get down. One seed could fall straight down, the next seed could get bounced about. If your hoppers bounce up and down, that seed's getting jingled about in the pipe. And then the seed came down in the double discs, it touched the ground and it might have gave a wee tumble. Now, maize planters years and years and years ago, they used Suffolk coulters, and like they were a lot worse. What happened to them? The seed came out of the Suffolk coulter, and because you were in eight kilometres an hour, the seed hit the ground at eight kilometres an hour, and probably gave a wee tumble, and then your placement was all off. The double disc drill, it, it got the seed placing better, but it was all mechanical, and then that mechanical gear ratio you were working with, you were in between, you know, if I wanted to get like precise seed placements, I, I either had to use one gear or the next gear, and that might have changed from like 103,000 to 105,000 and you're sort of stuck in the middle. So the technology now that's out there, the new drills now, they all have electric motors and every box has its own independent motor. And the speed of that motor can change in infinitely variable. You know, it's, it's not fixed gear ratios. So it sorts itself out and it can slow up, it can slow down or speed itself up, depending on what it needs to do, to try and get far, far better seed placement. And then with this new drill here, because it's using a, an air delivery system to get the seed to the ground, the seed's no longer falling under gravity down the pipe and bouncing about the pipe. The seed's just straight down. Uh, it's straight into the ground. All, all the drills now, what we have noticed, that what the technology's changed, they all have a press wheel. So as your seed is coming down, it doesn't get a chance to bounce along the ground. It doesn't get a chance to bounce around the pipe. It just hits the ground and the press wheel holds it in place. And we get far, far better seed spacing is what we're hoping for. Mashio Gaspardo, we were talking to him at Lama Show. I was talking to all the seed drills at Lama Show. And Mashio Gaspardo have guaranteed that we'll get 99% accuracy. What that means is, say every time I want a seed at 12.5 centimetres, they'll, they'll say 99% of the time I'll get a seed 12.5 centimetres. If I want it at 11, I'll get it at 11. The drill at the minute, it, it's, it's monitored. So every, every seed coulter, every seed unit is being monitored. And at the minute, coming down the field, it counts skips and it counts doubles. So the last drill that I was working with, um, you either were having to get out and manually check, but this drill here, I'm, at the minute I'm running at 99.4, 99.5% accuracy, and like I'm not going to get much better than that. 
not 0.3 percent of all the seeds are, are, are skipping, which is minimal. And at the minute, I've got just over one percent, half a percent doubles. So, you know, at the minute, half a percent. You would have to dig up 200 seeds at half a percent to try and find one that was doubled. Uh, and the, like the skips is nothing, doubles is nothing. I'm drilling constant over 99 percent accuracy. There's 99.7. I could have just went for the same, again, same drill again, the same mechanical drive drill again, and just see it myself. Like, I mean, we could have saved ourselves 20, 30 grand. But like, our, our, our ethos here, like, we want to do the job. We want to give the best job we can for a customer. And if there's technology on the market that's better than what we have, like, we're not afraid. We're not afraid to, to, to try it and go for it. For, you know, if, if a man's going to put an acre of me is in, you know, we want to do that as accurately, accurately as we can. And, there's no point overlapping seeds or, or missing seeds for it's just it's just it's gonna wreck your yield and quality of maize. So if we can see an improvement, we're gonna offer it to the customer. Compared to the last drill, so this drill here now, it's a far bigger disc coulter for this holds more seeds, so it can go high speeds. They're talking like they're saying that I can drill fifteen, you know, if the ground was nice, twenty K and still get over ninety nine percent accuracy. But I think in our country, if I got the 15k up and down the field, by the time I get the speed up, I'm at the far side of the field, so there's no point in me even doing it. So at the minute, I'm still drilling, I'm probably still drill, drilling two kilometres an hour faster than the last drill, and the accuracy is automatically better. It's just automatically better because of the technology that's in it. So as I'm drilling along, the, all the monitors in the boxes, they're watching what's going on, they're counting skips, they're counting doubles and uh, each motor is adjusting itself so they're no longer fixed in a chain so in theory I can have eight different varieties I can have eight different sizes of seeds and it'll still put them all in the ideal placing for every motor is independent of one another and they're constantly being monitored on our last drill she was working on spring suspension um, springs, springs were okay you know, that's, what, that's what was available at the time but the new drill now is working with our bags so it's working on our suspension so each box is held to the ground and I'm getting a far better response, a far quicker response. And with the springs, if you push a spring, it becomes tighter. You know, if I push an airbag, I, the airbag can let air out or it can, it can put air in if it needs to get more or less pressure. So I'm getting a far more even, even response over the travel of the boxes. And then again, in comparison to our last drill too, our last drill, it was all, you lifted it up and down manually. So if I wanted to try and come out into points and sections, I had to to basically drive forward to the line, once two boxes passed on the outside, I could lift them on the hydraulics. Then you had to drive a wee bit more to get the four middle ones out and then drive through to get the last two out. But what that was doing, it was overseeding it. You either had to overseed or else underseed to try and get your seed placement correct coming out at the ends. And you always had to keep coming out, you know, and stopping, like literally stopping, lifting one side up to try and save seed there, drive out and then lift the drill up at the last. Whereas this drill now, it's running full section control and every single box is independent. Every, every box here is monitoring the seat independently and it wants to be sitting on the green line as best it can. It's adjusting the motors itself to try and keep that accuracy as close to like 100% as it possibly can. And it's giving me constant feedback on skips and doubles if I need to alter uh, the box. So the last drill, like I literally had to go out and, and you had to dig holes uh, and check your seats and it, it wasn't ideal you know at the time that was the best technology but the technology has moved on and as contractors it's up to us to try and offer the best that we can for our customer because at the end of the day it's going to cost him the same to put a good crop in as put a, a bad crop in per acre so as i come out at the ends here and i'll come in the points the drill will start to close off the boxes one two three four five six seven eight and as you see, as they come blue, that's the, that's the box is turning off. So every box turns itself off as soon as it crosses the coverage line. And then as I enter back into the work again, as I cross the line, all the boxes are turned off and then it'll slowly turn them on. But because I'm coming in square there practically, it, it's just turned them all on at one go. This year, this is just because it's the first time out with the drill, we have set it up a bit on the conservative side. So Machio Gasparto was out with us and really, really helpful and they help us set the drill up. Now, in theory, you should be able to get the seeds all to start, you know, 12 centimeters off your boundary. They should all just be a straight line and you shouldn't really see your ins and outs. But 
just to get a bit of a faith in the technology. I'm pretty, you know, I'm pretty certain it's going to work. But we've left the drill overseeding very, very slightly, about maybe about three seeds past the line. For I think just for the first year, I'd rather be slightly over than slightly under. But as I get used to the box and the drill and understand how it works, I'm, I'm going to start pushing that further and further and further. One of the interesting things, and I, I pretty, I, w- I would like to try it. It doesn't matter if I turn the steering wheel now and drive straight across where I've drilled. It'll just close all the boxes off and it'll keep them shut until I enter into an area that hasn't been worked. So as I come to a tree in a pole, it'll close all the boxes off out around it on the side that's overlapping, and it open backs up again. And I've seen in uh, I've seen in England, a lot of people has been using that. Like for a long time now, they've been using that for like maze mazes and stuff, and it's sort of the sort of thing I'd be interested in trying. I'll probably like to try it next year in our own ground. Like just put a design. I wonder can I put a design in the field, like a smelly face or a circle or a cross, and just actually see how accurate that is. Because I've seen the boys in England do it with the maze mazes, where they program the pattern on the layout, and as you come across the pattern, it'll shut on and off. Then that'll be one of the interesting things to try. At the minute, as, as I'm going up and down the field like that, accuracy. The seed placement is sitting like it's sitting bang on 100%. But it's the sort of thing too. It's only going to be as good as the operator. And the more I learn, the better we should get. Now, I'm pretty confident at the minute that my seed placing is infinitely better than my last drill, just because of the technology. But as I get better and, and understand how it works, I'm going to keep pushing that higher and higher and higher. And you know, unless it's optimal placement the whole time, I'm not going to be happy. What I'm noticing out the pack, my last drill, if, like, we have a lot of like, we have like a lot of lumps and clods in our soil, and my last drill, because it was on springs, you would see the hoppers just sitting jittering the whole time, and that's what was limited in our mechanical drill, to the seed placement, because the hoppers were bouncing, the seed was coming down with gravity, they were just getting shook about everywhere, but the airbag suspension, like uh, the drill's hardly even shifting in the soil. And like, I'm, I'm certain if we, if we got our last drill beside it, you, you'd see a difference. This drill is just an absolute far smoother ride. As well as having the airbag suspension, there's also a set of trash cutters runs in front of the seat discs, the double discs. So the last drill, it had like snow plows, and the snow plow was okay, but if you got like a stone or like a sticky soil, instead of the snow plow just cutting the minimal track, for, for the double discs, the snow plow made it push like a lump of a lump of grass or a, a clod in front of it, or would push stones about. Whereas the trash cutter discs, they're just cutting the minimal line to prepare the ground far better for the double discs for the seed. So that's going to help us as well. The trash cutter system, it's just preparing the most minimal ground, and it's clearing the way for the double disc. So the disc doesn't have to cut into the ground if it's hard ground. One of the other benefits of the airbag system, I can, if I have really, really hard ground that I'm having trouble to go into, I can increase the pressure of the airbags and literally push the drill down into the ground. And at the same time, if I have really light soil and, and the drill wants to sink, I can take the pressure off the airbags and I can, I can, let, her, I can let her just literally float on top of the ground. So the drill it does have a micro fertilizer, micro granular system. And again, the last drill, because it was mechanically driven, Whenever you were coming out into points, all the boxes just were spreading fertilizer, um, regardless if they were in the, the on-sown area or not. Whereas this drill, because it has eight individual microgranular um, fertilizer hoppers, it won't put fertilizer in the ground unless the disc, unless the, the box in front is drilling. So, as well as saving seed at the ends, we should get, we should save the microgranular fertilizer and only apply it when needed, and that's going to make a big difference too. I'll be one of the first. Uh, I'll be one of the first watching all the maze to make sure it's up. And I'm not saying that it's going to be. I'm pro- well, first time out, you have teething problems. I'm not saying it's going to be perfect, but I'm really looking forward to see the capabilities of, of this drill. So we'll keep everybody posted. And I'll definitely be. I'll come back into these fields, and I'll keep everybody updated on how the section control has worked out and how the C the C placement's probably more more important to me at the minute than anything. For the last drill really annoyed me because you might have had one or two close together and then you had a gap and then you had a plant, a plant, a plant and then you had one or two close together and then a plant, a plant and then there was just there was a lot of misses and the seed placement just wasn't, seed placement just wasn't pleasing for me.
but that was just the capability of the drill like the drill was at its capacity but as the technology has now changed this here should give me far far better seed placement and what that what that means for the end customer you know better seed placement more uniform placement I should get better plants and we should end up with better cobs.